Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Captech Pro. In previous video, we have seen how to pull out inventory report of videos of the Stream Classic. So on this video, we will see how to migrate Stream Classic videos to stream on SharePoint. So guys, before we proceed to our lab environment, uh, I just want to tell you, uh, like before you proceed with the migration, the migration tool uh, can only be run by SharePoint Global Admin and it cannot be used by a regular users to migrate their own videos. So Microsoft will not automatically force a migration of your content to stream on SharePoint. Uh, you have to choose the content like uh, which you want to migrate. Rest of the content will be deleted from the Stream Classic once it is retired. If so, if there is a lot many videos in your tenant of Stream, stream Classics, so you do not you you have an option to you know leave some of the videos and only migrate the videos which are uh, you know useful for you so that you can you know audit the videos based on the inventory report which you have pulled pull out in the last video okay friends so now let's go to our lab environment and let's start our migration process so friends before we proceed to our lab environment if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel yet please do subscribe and please press the bell icon to get notified every time i release a new video okay friends so now we are logged into our m365 admin center and first of all we'll go to stream classic admin center i will click on all admin center if you will scroll down here you will find a stream classic admin center so let's open it so in our last video we have already pulled out the inventory report so basically i have two videos these are the video ids of the video which i have on my stream classic and this is the name of the videos state is completed and uh, as you can see if you will go slightly towards uh, you know the right side here you will see the container id container name like it's a uh, it is the these are the videos which are uploaded or created by me in the stream classic and the most important thing in the inventory report the last uh, second last section which is is eligible for migration so here you can see it is showing yes so both the videos are eligible for migrations. So in any of the video, uh, if you will see no way here, which means the videos, that particular video is not eligible for the migration. The videos that are either not published or in a draft state or are deleted by the user. So those videos are ineligible for the migration. So if you want to migrate, migrate those videos and user have to you know either publish such videos or admin can restore the videos from the recycle bin so that migration tool tool can pick those videos in the stream migration portal all right uh, so friends now we will go back to our stream migration so here once you will go to the stream classic admin center here you will see the option of launch migration tool so you will you have to just simply click on that so once you will navigate to the stream you know migration portal so here you will notice automatically what happens the containers which are there in the inventory report will be listed over here basically those con these containers are auto scan though all the eligible containers you will see over here since i have only one container which is of mine you can see it is auto scanned i haven't added it so it is basically auto scan so scan status is completed you can see the two videos are scanned which are there in the inventory report as well so if any container is not listed over here, but that container is there in, you know, in the inventory report. So basically what you can, you have to do, you have to click on add container. You can just simply click on look for a new container in stream and you can click on add. It will start auto scanning of the container. Now the second option is you can specify a single container. So you have to enter a full path of the folder you want to scan. So it should be in the, this format, like the container ID and the container type. Then the last option is to upload a CSV. So here you have to just, you know, you can manually configure your file uh, with all the source path uh, that you would like to scan. So that's the third point. But uh, like since we have very less video here in the stream classic, so you can see my container is now auto scan. So once you will see your container over here, you have to just simply select the container and you can now you have to click on add to migrations. So now it will ask you like you want to use a default settings or if you want to customize it, you can select it. And here you can filter the content, filter by the published date and filter by the last view and filter by the number of views. These are the some, you know, filter which you can apply, but we'll go with the default settings. Now you can, you have to click on continue. So you can see the message one container added to migrations. So we'll go to the migration tab now. So as you can see, our container is now edit and the migration status is never run 
so our container is added and now we are good to you know migrate the content but before that i just want to tell you like you can download uh, you can download the reports of your migration container and you can upload the destination which means like if there is some container like here you can see uh, my container name is rachit and destination is auto mapped okay this is my destination means this user one drive the video will get migrated so if in case you will found here the multiples container those those destination are not mentioned over here so you just simply need to click on upload destination you can you know uh, click on migration destination csv so once you will click on this csv file and if you will open it you will see since we have only single container you will see the report like similarly if you have multiple containers and destination path is not there so you can you know enter the destination path in bulk then then after entering the details you have to just simply upload the csv file on from here so once you will upload automatically you will notice once the csv is uploaded the destination path is entered so now just we can select our container and now you can click on migrate to migrate the container so we'll click on migrate you will see some you know instructions like stream classic feature which are not supported on stream on sharepoint uh, like all these things which you can you know you can go through it before performing the migration now just simply we'll click on migrate so here you can see migration task is in running and migration status is, is in queue so which means migration is started here you will see once you will see the status completed then it means uh, videos are now migrated to stream on sharepoint so now you can see our migration status is finalizing so once it is completed then only uh, you can check you will see the status over here like how much data is migrated okay friends so as you can see our migration status is now completed so here you can see the container one is successful videos total two videos are migrated and data it is of 1.66 mb so we'll go to our destination which means uh, my this is my upn so i will go i will open my onedrive and let's see whether the videos are there or not so in the new tab i will open my onedrive so here you can see you will notice a folder of the stream migration videos and inside this so these are the two videos which are now migrated to stream on sharepoint so if you will click on it you can see video is now getting played similarly this is my second video you can see the video is also the second video is also getting played so friends that's how you can migrate your content from stream classics to stream on sharepoint and if you guys are also planning to migrate your content and need any assistance please uh, let me know uh, i will help you out to you know migrate your content so friends that's conclude our today's video demonstration for more informative videos you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos i will see you guys in next video